All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for the brand new television series which premiered on Halloween 2015. That is Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1, Episode 1, the pilot episode. Groovy. Okay, so I just got finished watching it for uh, Halloween. It was basically the thing for me to look forward to for Halloween since I was working stuff, couldn't really do too much, couldn't go out. So me and Jess watched it and we absolutely loved it. This review will contain spoilers if you guys haven't seen it yet. The first season is going to be 10 episodes. Unfortunately, they're only half an hour each, but uh, man, it, uh, it is really, really good stuff. If you missed it, I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, it was a great premiere, really fun. It was an ex extended premiere. It was over 40 minutes. Um, when your regular episodes are just 30 minutes uh, the rest of the season. And the show has already been confirmed for season two, which is pretty quick on stars. So uh, unfortunately, that probably means we probably will never see Bruce Campbell in The Walking Dead because, of course, he's busy with his own show. Uh, but let's be honest here. He's pretty, he's pretty big. So, you know, the idea of them doing an Evil Dead, I'm happy with that. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a fan dream to see him be a character in The Walking Dead to be Negan. But uh, he's too recognizable that they probably would never do it, even though it's like a match made in heaven. So that said, his own show, Ash vs. Evil Dead, definitely did not disappoint. The first episode was really fun, a lot like the trailers that we've seen. You know, you've got uh, Ash, he's just getting back in the game. You've got uh, the Evil Dead that are just coming back to uh, to haunt him, so to speak, and cause all kinds of chaos. And we find out how they kind of came back out or, or the, the thing started again is that he ends up getting stoned with a girl and uh, reading from the, uh, the book, the Necronomicon... <laughs> Whatever it's called, is Book of the Dead. So he reads from the book with his girls. He's getting stoned, and uh, next thing you know, he he forgets about it. Then he remembers, and um, you know, as he's uh, as he's kind of thinking back as to what the hell's going on because the dead are starting to show up, and there's all kinds of craziness with strong winds, and you know, the whole the whole bit. Uh, and as we can see, you know, you've got uh, people being possessed. You've got uh, Granny, who <laughs> Grammy, Granny, evil Granny killer with the, uh, you know, all tough all kinds of craziness so uh you've got that you've got her attacking uh you know ash and uh pablo and this uh the other girl i'm not sure her name yet <laughs> and ash basically comes back into his own and gets his chainsaw hand back and you know cuts her head off so <laughs> so it's fine um in addition to that, we got some other characters. We've got Lu Lucy Lawless in there. So what the hell? I, I don't even know how they threw her in there. But it's just such a... It, and this one's directed by Sam Raimi, too. There's just so many fun, like, kind of... 80s 90s type silliness and even the way they film at the angles and stuff you got the camera zooming in and going crazy and all kinds of just kind of silly fun uh you know hyper violence gore and and all kinds of craziness in uh, in the episode just makes her really fun you've got uh, bruce campbell cracking the jokes as usual uh you know he's quite the ladies man even though he's older and uh you know, maybe 30 to 40 pounds overweight as he says but he's picking up chicks with his just <laughs> I don't know, he uses his wooden hand to pick up chicks, which is pretty funny, and asking them if he likes, uh, if they like his wood, as <laughs> he's slapping them with his wooden hand. <laughs> This is a riot. It's it's pretty much a riot most of the way through. It mixes in some, you know, it's got some good horror elements too. Some of the scary parts too that really, uh, that parts can make you really afraid for certain characters if, uh, you know, Ash isn't there. And, you know, you've got people getting, uh, you know, scissors stabbed through their hand and all kinds of other stuff. We've got the one uh, cop there who... With her partner, they go into a house with a call, and uh, next thing you know, the evil dead is there. The girl who got high with Bruce Campbell, uh, with Ash, and uh, was reading the uh, the phrase. So, so they come back to kind of haunt her and, and possess her, and uh, you know, you've got uh, kind of a homicide that goes down there with with the evil dead and, and that, and then the the one lady kind of gets out and meets Lucy Lawless, and that's basically what we've seen so far. Uh, but the preview for next week is that she's going to go and try to track down Bruce Campbell because she thinks that he's somehow responsible, which he kind of is for this whole mess. 
So it's a really fun premiere. I can't recommend it enough for people that like, uh, you know, uh, Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, uh, Bruce Campbell, Ash, the character. And I'm so glad Stars, you know, supported the show and got them to uh, got them to do a show. Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell and everybody. It's just a lot of fun. It's something you can just watch, shut your brain off, and just really enjoy. It's such a throwback to kind of that time period where we had a lot more kind of silly, fun shows. And, and you know, they, there's, there's still spoofs nowadays, too. But I don't know. It's, uh, it's just a really fun – it's just a really fun thing to see again, to see them do as a TV series. So I'm so glad that they chose to do it. And in terms of the premiere, i got to give this one a 9.5 out of 10. It's so fun. It's just so silly and so solid. Scary, too, at parts, too, in some ways, even though you can't really take it seriously. Uh, it's, just a lot, it's just a lot of fun. Check it out. Definitely don't miss it. I give it uh, uh, one chainsaw hand. Thumb up, one big chainsaw hand up. So uh, go ahead and check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet. You won't regret it. Ash vs. Evil Dead, really fun, really funny, gory, and, and everything we expected definitely did not disappoint with the premiere. And the worst part was when it ended because I'm like, I want to see more, damn it. So I'm going to wait till next Saturday. I'm going to convince Jess to continue watching it with me. So that should be some fun. So uh, if you guys want to see uh, future reviews for it, if you love the show and you got a chance to check it out, Write your comments below. I may do episode-to-episode -episode reviews, at least a few here and there probably. Um, but definitely wanted to review the premiere because it's um, it's just such a fun show to see them do again. So it's so great. So write your comments below. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, you can share. You can favor. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can go and subscribe to the bottom left. That's it for my first review for Ash vs. Evil Dead. Let's hope that the series uh, becomes a hit and that it gets many seasons to come because it definitely... Uh, is quite the fun show. Really enjoyable. That's it for this review, guys. I'll see you again for the next. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace.